Hello guys, let's go and welcome back to my videos. In this video, I'm reading guys the true noob to pro video. So the rules for this video is going to be that I have to hit level 1000, I have to have good bloodlines, and I just need to be a pro. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did like particularly, I'm going to go right to the video, guys. All right, so I went ahead and created the account with the best name I could possibly think of, Big Papa Noob to Pro, and we're going to go ahead and just join Shindle Life here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this time to say that. I'm going to be giving away this account at the end of the video, so if you want this account, be sure to join my Discord, guys. Welcome back to Shindo. It's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Alright, so we're starting off fresh here. Actually, what I'm going to start out and do is I'm just going to spin my elements once. Let's see what we get. You know, it's obviously going to bait you into thinking, oh, you're about to get a super rare element that's going to give you stone. See, look, chaos, cement, stone. Look at that. Air, combustion, flame. Boom. Those are both my elements. I got stone flame. You know, it's not too bad for farming. I actually do appreciate that they didn't give me something worse like air. Now, this may actually take a second here because you do actually have to spin for a while. And let me tell you, spinning sometimes takes a very long time, especially if you want to get something good. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Yo, I actually just got Jeremaki. Dude, you know how rare that is? In my first six spins, I just got a 1 out of 170 bloodline. Too bad it's pretty bad for farming. I'm actually going to keep it though because it is a rare bloodline. And it actually will assist me a ton in farming for a new bloodline. I mean, farming bloodline skills and crap like that. Yo, I just got Sabaru. Alright, so here's the main question. So, do I keep Sabaru or go... Uh, nah, I'm going... I'm spinning it away. I need a better PvE bloodline. I have to get one. It needs to be had. Yo, I actually just got Frostfire. Okay, I'm actually going to keep Frostfire because this thing does a ton of damage. All right, we're looking fresh straight out of Pokemon Ash Ketchum. Let's go ahead and get start getting leveled up here. All right, so we're in here. We're big Papa Noob to pro it up. Yo, boy, how I missed public servers. Tentaction. Can you help me grind your level? All right, so we're going to start off with the Green Scroll Quest. You know, we're doing the usual... Sometimes people actually help you. Um, I'm not sure if people are going to help me. Oh my gosh, this takes forever. I'm not sure if people are actually going to help me level up, but uh, let's see here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, it spawns over there. This is going to take me a second to get there, so let's uh, just Sonic speed run. Oh my god, someone help me. Please, please help me level. All right, so we're right here. Zero bloodline abilities. How much health do they have? 120. Oh yeah, leveled up already, man. All right, dodging. Yep, we're doing the good stuff. Come on. Oh, dude, intense 1v1s right here. Look at this. Look at this. Intense 1v1s. Intense. Oh, the damage. Okay, nice. All right. We're almost done with our first quest here. Oh, punch him in the face. No. All right, look. Bop. All right, he's dead. So these quests actually give a decent amount of XP. It's not nearly as much as the boss missions, but, you know, it's enough to actually start getting started up here. I'm going to go ahead and just start into Tai. Because I'm hoping that I can actually get um, stuff like the uh, Ember Hurricane. Really, really good for farming here. These I'm not going to get for a good second. And uh, yeah, the Ninja Tools, obviously not going to get for a good second. I actually am able to get the Die Guy throw. That's huge. Actually, I might be able to get this. Okay, yeah, I can't. I, can, I can't get that either. Okay, I can't get anything. I'm too pro. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to smash my face on this log for like... For like probably like five minutes i'm just gonna smash my face onto this log simply because you know log farming good farming you know what i'm saying shinder life is such a fun game guys as you can see very fun all right i'm just i'm just trying to bait one of these people into inviting me to a group for levels just because you know it's randoms it's the same feeling as if you're a noob in this game you want people to help you uh hopefully you know someone invites me free levels you know what i'm saying all right, so I got both of my bloodlines to the first level here. Now, I actually do want to unlock Frost Style, so I need 470 Chi. I need to be level 120 and need to get that. So, I feel like I have enough now that I can actually start doing the boss missions. So, let me go ahead and put 500 and then put 472 into here. Boom. And now I can actually get the first two of all of these. So, oh, I actually need a lot of Chi for that. I didn't know that. So, I can actually start doing the first things here. So, oh, wait, can I, okay, I can't actually get that yet. Can I get the katana? No, I actually can't. Where's the uh, dag I at? Alright, so there we go. We equip that. Throwable. Get the next throwable. The better throwable. And yeah, we're actually really, really well set up now for farming these uh, green scrolls, which obviously is a lot faster. Look at the chat. I was just leveling up Kamaki and Mr. I Don't Have a Life showed up. Alright, so we're gonna just go ahead and kill these guys. This is what we actually... Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. I completely forgot that oh, <laughs> I have no chi. I also have no stamina. Oh my gosh. You know, this might not be the play. This might not be the play. 
and I'm dead. Maybe I shouldn't use a move that uses my entire chi bar. That's probably pretty smart. This, these moves don't even do that much themselves. Actually, don't do that much damage. Oh my gosh. And I'm dead from a kunai. Alright, so one is actually dead. I don't want to get one shot. No! My server's actually lagging really hard. I don't know why. It's like uh, everything's just super slow. No! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die again. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. Blah, 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 blah. Oh! No! I got sanded. Bruh, this guy just punched me once and I immediately died. Alright, this guy actually kept knocking me over. I'm gonna try and run away and try and find a log somewhere where people aren't just gonna punch me and kill me. Alright guys, so I've been AFK farming for a second here and as you guys can see, my uh, my stuff's pretty high leveled up. I can actually use a Fra Scorch now, which is actually very nice. This guy's trying to attack me. That's not very nice of you, but I can actually unlock this stuff now. So I actually have 3,000 skills points. I'm, not, I'm gonna put some of the HP because I'm uh, kind of tired of dying in a one shot. So we're gonna do that. And I think Nin is definitely gonna be what I put most of it into. So 1,300 like and then I'll put about 1,300 into Chi and then I'll put the rest into Nin. Actually, no, I actually, I think I'll need a little bit more in Chi. So I'll put, two, I'll put, I'll put about half and half. So half and half in there. And we could actually probably unlock this stuff now. Wait, I don't have 800 Thai. Oops. I completely forgot to unlock Thai. That's fine though. Just go ahead and equip this stuff. Equip that in the five. And we actually have Frostfire now. So this is going to be a huge damage burst against the boss. It may not seem like a lot, but trust me, it'll be a lot for, you know, what my level is. I'm only at level 270. You guys just got to remember that. So yeah, we're actually going on up here. As you guys can see, we're, uh, we're getting there. I think I'll, I'll turn, I'll probably turn back on the recording as soon as we get Jeremaki's first ability, which will be the, ne the big, the first big step. All right, so the pri the public server actually was lagging super hard, so I went ahead and went into a private server. These codes are publicly available in my Discord server. There might actually be people in them sometimes. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So I don't feel like this is cheating just because you can get them from my Discord server. I'm just going to go back to farming. I'm trying to get Jeremaki to 250 so I can actually get the first ability. And obviously, the second ability of Frostfire is very, very important. The mode is actually what I need the most from Jeremaki, though. Guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually forgot to join the Rogue Games group, which actually gives you twice as much XP as you normally get. So this has taken me so much longer than it should have. I definitely should have done that. And I'm almost to Jeremaki uh, first ability right here. Also, I just put some stat points into Nin because Nin is the most important, obviously. All right, so after slamming my head on the log and doing green scrolls for basically an hour straight, we are officially halfway to level 1000. As you guys can see, we're halfway to level 1000. I actually forgot to use 306 of my points. I already maxed my Nin, working on Chi right here. I already got the first ability, Jeremaki. The mode, after I get the mode and after I get uh, Frost Style Agony Burn, that's when we're actually going to attempt our first boss fight right here because I feel like that's what we're going to need. But until then, you know, we're just going to keep doing this. Uh, just keep slamming my head off logs, doing the good stuff, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, this is really expensive. The 2 million Ryo, that's like all my Ryo. Also, I actually haven't got a martial art. I feel like the, uh, I honestly feel like Vanishy Clone is the best martial art for farming and i'm gonna go ahead and roll my kajitsu once since you get one free kenjutsu i'm gonna go ahead and roll it once right here let's see what we get give me a rare one give me a juicy 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 rare kenjutsu and i got wind i got wind kajitsu all right well we're gonna go back to farming here all right so we've actually unlocked the moto jiramaki almost all of my elements are actually maxed here and i actually do have the scorch uh, scorch second unlock so we're gonna go ahead and try to attempt our first boss here i think I think, our, I think our first boss may be pretty easy just because we got a pretty good bloodline, which is Jeremaki. The mode is actually really, really good. So uh, let's see how it goes. And I look really, really, really weird with this mode on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try solo the Bankai Akuma boss. Hopefully this doesn't take me a long time because I feel like green scrolls. Oh, dude, I'm actually doing quite a bit of damage to him. It's probably just because my Nin's actually maxed. I'm actually doing quite a bit of damage to this guy. I'm going to go ahead and use the weapon spec on him. Oh my gosh, I'm doing so much more damage than I thought I would. This is great. Hit him with a tie. Hit him with M1s. Oh no. This is where my luck ends. I actually have really, really low amounts of health, so I actually need to watch out here. Fighting a boss is like fighting a player with this amount of health. Scorch actually does... Uh, well, not Scorch. It's Frostfire. But Frostfire actually does a ton of damage. It's actually why I wanted the Bloodline. Yeah, if you guys don't didn't know, they actually buffed it, so you don't need to use the first to be able to use the other ones now. So we're going to try to use the C-Spec on him. Stick him with the Tunks. Uh, obviously, just did not work here. I feel like my mode my mode's being drained like crazy, right? Oh, I must have got hit by the C-Spec. I must have got hit by the C-Spec. So the M1s of Jeremaki actually do quite a bit of damage. Alright, 
So this is going pretty swell right here, honestly. Like, it's this is actually going really, really well. Hopefully, I don't get hit by another C-Spec. Otherwise, I'm probably going to end up losing a fight against a boss, which, you know, that would be pretty sad. I have a lot of good stuff, though, for fighting a boss. Just going to use the second ability on him. Big, big damage burst. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. I just died to a boss. Well, he's half HP. I feel like I could finish him off after this. All right, so I'm actually going to wait until I'm full HP to actually use mode, but I still can use the abilities that don't require full mode. I'm kind of just going to sit back and chill until I regain all my HP, because I feel like that's a smart thing to do. So it took a while to regain all my HP, but I actually just regained all my HP right here, back into Jeremaki mode, and I finally am not going to be one-shot by the boss. Scorch? All right, not Scorch, Frostfire. I keep calling it Scorch. Basically the same bloodline, honestly. Pretty much the same bloodline right there. Him with the Grand Fireball. Come on, Ember Hurricane. Oh my gosh, that just, that just did so much damage to me. That is not the balanced. Rogue Games nerf ban Kaikuma boss. This is noob to pro, and I am pro. Get him one. Get him one. I'm gonna kill him. All right, you ready? Final kill. Frog attack. Oh, I gotta stick him. I gotta stick him with the tongue. Bonkers. And he's actually dead. My first boss kill. And what I learned from that is all my points are going into hit points now. That's uh, yeah. That's uh, he does uh, he does a lot of damage to you. What can I say? All right, so I'm probably just going to go around and do a boss missions. Probably until I hit about 800 levels, and I'll actually check back in to show you guys how my uh, how my bloodlines are actually going. I'm actually almost have uh, Frost style actually maxed here. So uh, I, I might go until I hit level 1,000 on the Toad. Maybe not. Maybe this will be just until I hit level 1,000. Let's figure it out. All right, boys. We are officially level 800, almost to 1,000. A lot of my stats are almost maxed. I got all of the all of the bloodlines elements max besides Jeremaki level 1000 would take forever to get to all the elements are max we actually have an actually really really good move set right here that I would use in actual PvP so that's always a plus and we also got a couple sub jitsus from the bosses as you guys can see I'm going to scroll down to show you I'm not going to get them just because they're super expensive like 4.5 million what but yeah, also got the MMA. You know, everything's everything's looking pretty good right now. Now I'm just going to try and get Ember Fate Spirit after I get to level 1000. Or maybe even before that, just by hopping in servers where, you know, they're in my Discord server. I'm just going to hop in the private servers or in case one of my spawn finders actually post one. You know, a Z-Spec, what's more pro than a Fate or a Tail Spirit, am I right? But to show you guys the progress, obviously I'm going to do another boss fight because that's, you know, you know how hard the boss fight was last time. It's significantly easier now just because I have a ton more health. Also, I figured out this out, but Jeremaki M1s are actually insanely good against the bosses. Like, it actually, the, the Jerem, oh, I forgot, I, I forgot that's the, uh, the cooldown of it is actually pretty long. But yeah, Jeremaki M1s are actually really good against bosses. But yeah, look at the damage. So, I'm just going to go ahead and solo this boss. As you guys can see, it's just, it's a lot easier now. There's, I don't, I'll just, uh, just go ahead and finish off the boss, you know. One of my spawn fighters actually found the Ember Fate Spirit, so I'm going to go ahead and get it. You can actually get scrolls very often in my Discord, so if you guys want, just join my Discord, you know. Free scrolls, pretty much. Man, I mean, this Ember Fate's getting smacked right now. We only have like three people. I forgot. I forgot how easy they made the bosses. Like for some reason, Ember Fate like glitches out sometimes, and it completely doesn't work. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just not very good sometimes. Get the boss. Get the boss. All right, so the boss is actually about to die here, but so am I. Thankfully, there's only three people in the server, so the maximum amount is only three scrolls. I'm just going to go ahead and yoink this. Nice. Ember Fate Spirit. Hopefully, this doesn't take a ton of Ryo. Oh my gosh, it takes four million. I can't even unlock it. Well, it's only account. I literally can't unlock it. It costs too much. Why did they make everything cost so much? No. All right, boys. So we officially hit level 1,000, and I just killed someone attacking me with this moveset. So... That's very nice. At level 1000, we are officially the pro. I'm like 300 levels away. That, that would be like maybe like another 30 minutes of story mission farming. But yeah, this is actually going to be the end of the video. We officially have become a pro. We have full bloodline slots. This kit actually looks pretty good and we have a very good bloodline. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, button, subscribe, and comment more. And I hope you see you next one, guys. Peace.